today. There's your sugar. High school students must I go home. complete the task to make 12 cupcakes with only two hours on the clock. There's not enough time for me. Who will? The sugar ain't coming out. Make the batter batch on all 16. Three different schools, six teams. Only one can be the cherry on top. Today, these young bakers have been tasked to make the district's best cupcakes, leaving the viewers wondering who's going to take the cake. Will your favorite team whip themselves on top, or will they crumble under the pressure? Welcome to District 228's annual bake-off. I'm your host, Kelly Arroyo. And I'm Talia Carter. Bakers from Oak Forest, Tinley Park, and Bremen High School are competing for bragging rights and to be the ultimate bake-off champions, Cupcake Edition. Let's meet our contestants. My name is Emilio Giza. I'm a sophomore and I'm from Oak Forest. My name is Leah. I'm a sophomore in high school and I'm from Oak Forest. My name is Nicholas Alaska. I'm from Oak Forest High School and I am a sophomore. Uh, really, I just thought it would be fun, different experience, you know. Uh, I just thought it would be cool to do. Uh, my grandma used to come home from Christmas and she used to teach me how to bake. Um, I always liked it since I was little. Um, I've been doing it with my grandma. And so I thought joining the class would be fun. I like baking cupcakes and cakes. There's a lot of fun. You have a lot of creativity to do with them. Probably cupcakes. Uh, I've had a lot of fun cooking cupcakes with my group. I think the team next to us, Team 2, is the biggest threat. I'm thinking the Bremen kitchen. They look uh, pretty professional and uh, serious with their uh, aprons. So, yeah, I think them. My name is Keyshawn from Oak Forest. My name is Jacqueline. I am a high school senior. My name is Nicholas Herrera. I just cook for Mr. F, honestly. He a cool teacher. He gave me something to do during the day. So far, my favorite thing to bake, it would have to be between macarons or bread. I don't think we really have a threat. I don't think we got a biggest threat, to be honest. I am not quite sure yet, but I hope I can find out Sophomore, my name's Eliza. I'm Lillian Cash. Uh, I'm Luna. I'm a senior at Tinley Park, and I'm taking the baking class. So I'm a senior at Tinley Park High School. I'm just finishing up my courses. Well, but I've always been baking since I was little. I've been baking for almost six years. Baking since I was a little girl. Something or brownies. Only at home, I make a three-layer chocolate cake two times a year for my family. And I also make carrot cake for my family. And I will occasionally, I make cookies a lot more often than anything, cupcakes. Why? Because I think they're cute and they're simple to make. I'd say my biggest thread, just off of uh, visuals, we Bremen. I think the other one from Tinley. None of them because we have to share the same equipment and stuff, so I think that they might try to sabotage us a little bit. I don't know. I don't know any of them, so I can't really say any of them would be a threat. My name is Terrence. Terrence Howard Gardner. Uh, I'm a senior at Tinley Park High School. The shard folks, while great, is Tef. Uh, school is Tinley Park. My name is Addison Weed. I am a senior in high school, and I go to Tinley Park High School. Valia and the grade um, senior, and I go to Tinley. My grandma taught me when I was in like fourth grade, fifth grade. Oh, uh, just love it, and I see it. I just see it, like my family baking the whole time. So basically, I always baked when I was little. My mom never liked baking so i was always the one that would be baking in the house um there's no really specific reason i just got into it when i was younger seeing my mom cook every day and i just like wanted to try so yeah my name is juliana chavez i'm a senior at bremen um, my name is sabrina i'm in 10th grade and i'm 15 years old i go to bremen high school my name is Crisella santos i'm from bremen high school and it's my sophomore year uh, my name is Carla Ayala. I'm 17 years old, and I go to Berman High School, and I'm a senior. My grandma used to bake a lot as I grew up, so growing up, we would usually make cupcakes over the weekend. Well, my mom and me always baked for Christmas and, like, special occasions for my whole family, so she was kind of my inspiration. It was just out of interest, honestly. Like, 
it just seems fun to do and just like learn new things. I love to bake a lot outside of school. I make some for my friends and if not my friends, I give them to my family. My favorite thing to bake is churro cheesecake cupcakes. They're the best. Mm, probably churros. I like frying them and then, well, making the batter and then frying them. They're really good. Mostly cakes, because my family enjoys them, so. I don't think any of them are big tra threats. I feel like all of them are just, well, the team. None. I think Bremen's like the best, I guess. Hello, my name is Martin De La Rosa. I am 13 years old. I'm a, I am a senior in Bremen High School. My name is Anita Diego. Um, I am 16 years old and I am a junior. I am from Bremen High School. It was like mostly my parents didn't really think that guys can bake or like cook. That's just like a Mexican household, I think, I guess. And I guess that's that's what got me into baking, like saying, oh, I can do this and that because I want to do it. Like they can't stop me from what I want to do. I've usually always liked baking. Uh, my mom was someone who loved baking. She always bakes for us and her goods are so delicious. I'll say team five. Probably kitchen five. The rules are simple. A client called each school's bakery requesting 12 cupcakes for an upcoming event. They would like the cupcakes to be displayed on the center of the dessert table at their party. Bakers, you have two hours on the clock to plan, create, and plate, making the best cupcakes of your life. Judging will be based on decorating skills and technique, creativity, presentation, and flavor. Now contestants, let's, let's make, make it happen. happen. I'm gonna add the sugar. Is it like grainy? Could you do all that more strawberry? I think it's fine. I don't know. I'd like one drop. More strawberry? and all of our dry ingredients together. We don't got vanilla eggs back. She ain't give us nothing. Oh, I'm sifting all the dry ingredients together. Bakers, you have an hour left. Okay, I'll let them know. The client just called and said that all the cupcakes must have a theme of your choice. And we can add a little bit of yellow to the green to make it a little bit. We're going adding to yellow? A little bit. Okay. What's the recipe say? It's too purple. Um, purple. No, I think it will good. I'm making the batter right now. Okay, we should be good. Good. Okay. Leo left it so messy over here. So far, I think it's going pretty good. No mess ups or anything, so I think we're good right now. Yo, you want to you're gonna do that. Okay. Do they look done? Thank you. Do they look done? 
Alright guys, we can use this pie filling and we can use it with like the insides of the monsters. Alright, I'm gonna cut it up after. Alright, that's good. God, these actually look so nice. We, like, They're so here. moist. I think At, yeah, like bloody. Yeah. Yes, that's perfect. Is that a sifter? No. Oh, it's a sifter. Parading all of the strawberries into the batter, nice and even, a little bit at a time. And the cake batter is mixed with strawberries, and on top, it's a lemon flavoring icing. In counter space too, so that way the cupcakes aren't sitting on like any raw egg yolk or anything, so that way they're not contaminated. Is a little bit of it. Everything going good. You know, I'm ready to get back to the team. I know they need some help right now. I forgot. Um, mm -hmm. Teddy strawberries for jam. Is it locked? Yeah, please. It's locked. You guys want me to double the whatever? In my group, I'm working on a strawberry jam filling and a white chocolate decorations for the top. I just added too much water in the beginning, but then I realized I have to strain it at one point anyway. Yeah, those look good. Maybe that one needs a little bit more. This one? Yeah, like a tad bit more. Yeah. Because I don't want them to be flat like we be having in class, but I have to make sure we have enough uh, batter. For Oh, you got to put them in the oven. All right. All right, now we're going to set it for 20 minutes. It's going good. Cupcakes tasting good, but they falling apart a little bit, but we're going to bring it back together. It's all good. We're making churro cupcake filled with the filling of strawberries. What? Is the chocolate good? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, no. <laughs> Maybe it's a little too thick. They don't work. <laughs> Our sisters work. Get it. Squeeze it. You added too much? Okay, second. That's a little problem. Should I take it off? Just keep it in there. It'll, it'll melt, I think. I mean, she keeps fighting me. We're not gonna win. Fighting. Give me a butter knife, yeah? Please. You are just over here. Uh, were we supposed to do that in the stand, Mister? It says combine them together, the flour and the sticky powder. Oh, yeah, I gotta do the butter. Aren't you gonna do the creaming method first? Do it right now. I'm gonna need two sticks of butter and two cups of uh, sugar. I'm on that right now. Okay. I'm adding it in. No. Ya terminamos. We need too many for the coffee. Yeah. Right now I'm putting a little circle in the cupcake so that I can start putting in the filling. Bakers, you have 30 minutes left. Alright, I'll tell them. One more thing, these cupcakes cannot be identical. 
and you must utilize two different piping tips. So what colors are we using for which ones? I mean we can use this one, we could do a blue. Yeah, put it by the blue. Or we put that to blue. Um so these ones are almost the same. I think the bigger almost ones should be purple. Alright. And then the green one, we should do the small one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then red. And then this which one is blue. Oh. Okay, that's so this one's for red, okay. That's how we cool. Alright. I think my cupcakes uh, came out very nice. I think they're very fluffy and uh, I hope uh, they're moist. They look really moist, so I think uh, they turned out very good. Confident that we could win. I'm confident in the flavor and uh, I'm mostly confident about our design. I think it came out really good. I think time, uh, time was going fast, so I think we we're a little rushed. And I, I think it messed us up a little bit. My favorite part was uh, being with my kitchen and having fun and being competitive and I think it was just a really fun time. Add a little bit. Well, right now, we're still trying to think. Because we really only have three colors. Inside out. Yeah. 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 Right now, we are frosting the cupcakes, so these- I feel like we could have worked a little slower. They're supposed to be little triceratops. Yeah, I think we could have maybe improved on our designs from what I see, from what I saw before I had to come in. With our screen on the back, yeah. Coming up, are going to get yeah. Fair power competition, you know, it's just coming in with the team, trying to get the win and everything. You know, we only had time to do one trial run on our cupcakes, so we might have been not as prepared as the other teams. I really like the fact that I got to see how um, other people made their cupcakes and the different ideas they used. So right now I'm uh, cutting up the chocolate. It's going to be melting on and then we're going to spread it thin on a baking sheet. Well, we're going to dye it first. Spread it thin on a baking sheet, have different colors, and then we're going to break it down like peppermint bark. And that's going to be on top of our cupcake, on top of the buttercream frosting. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Should I just do blue? Yeah, A. Yeah, this one. Oh, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. We're making birthday themed cupcakes with sprinkles and a lollipop on top. We're going to add the frosting or the food dye into the frosting to make it blue and green. Now we're about to decorate and put the suckers in our cupcakes like they're balloons. Okay. Okay, so I'm drawing like three, three balloons right on the cupcake. You should use this. You should have used this. That's, that's to prevent that. Overall, I think the frosting is something we should have practiced and perfected better beforehand. Okay, so they're coming off clean, so that's a good sign. I can't find to work on the frosting. Saying push them in with a thing. My hands are we picked um, a Via de los Muertos type of theme. Right, our chocolate skulls are done and they look really good. But... 
minutes. My favorite part of the competition was, in general, just being with my group, Sabrina, Carla, and Grisada. They're very fun to be around with, so... <laughs> Uh, the biggest challenge I'll face right now is probably the frosting. Hey, don't attack my teammate! Not that I care about him. They left! You know, they went out sick, sorry. They went out sick, yeah. Wanna flip them? Bro, I'm at the kid. I'll be flipping to I feel like we would have done better if our other team members were here and we could have worked together and communicated more better. Oh. <laughs> we did everything together so it was kind of kind of easy to come overcome those kind of things. <laughs> You had two hours to bake 12 cupcakes for a client's party. They wanted the cupcakes to be themed and different using at least two piping tips. Let's see how you did and meet the judges. How you doing? I'm Dr. Brad Sikora. My name is Imani. My name is Bob Feldman, also known as Bun Cake Bob. I'm just a Bremen High School student. Superintendent for Bremen District 228. I am the owner of two Nothing Bun Cakes location. Uh, one in Orland Park, Illinois, and one in Mokina, Illinois. I have zero qualifications for judging a cupcake. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be the tough sell because I'm not even really much of a sweets guy. So they're going to really have to bring uh, bring their best game here for me today. I was in baking last year. I made it close to coming into the cupcake wars, but I missed the days. So I have baking qualifications. Well, that's all we do is make bun cakes at Nothing Bun Cakes. So. For me, I love a cake that is not dry and has just really creamy frosting on top and that just good complementary between the frosting and the cake. I'm going to be more for um, maybe presentation, even over taste. So I'm looking to see how creative they can get with their design. Um, the taste and texture, for sure. Now, Kitchen One from Oak Forest, tell us about your batches. What was the reason behind your theme and decorations? Today we decided to do dark chocolate cupcakes with pie filling in the middle. We thought the flavor would be very unique and uh, flavorful. And then for our theme we did uh, monsters because we thought it would be appropriate for the f uh, spooky theme that just passed. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Well, I will tell you team one, you really, you know, I brought the appetite, you brought the flavor. You brought me back to my youth. I looked at the cupcake. It reminded me of Sesame Street and Cookie Monster, so I, auto, automatically I was ready for, for, for a nice experience. was also surprised by there was, an, uh, there was a jelly or a flavor inside uh, in the middle there at the top. So really impressed uh, with, the first, uh, with the first cupcake. You did a great job. I love the theme. Uh, as I took my first bite, uh, it was kind of crumbly in my mouth. Uh, I like, I like a cake to be a little more moist, but when I got to that filling, it just, wow, what a surprise. Excellent job. I really like the theme of the cupcake. It looks really nice and creative. Um, I really like the taste of the frosting. The texture was a little bit crumbly, but it tasted good overall. Great job, bakers. We'll see you after the results. Welcome Kitchen 2 from Oak Forest. You've put in a lot of hard work. Now can you please tell the judges the story behind your batch? So our cupcake is a dinosaur themed uh, pink and yellow cupcake with strawberry slices as our little um, stegosaurus spikes. Um, the flavor is a strawberry lemonade. Um, we added lemon zest and strawberry bits to a yellow cake and then made vanilla lemon buttercream for the frosting. Really, really good taste. Hit me right off the uh, right off the first bite. 
also pleasantly surprised. Uh, some, some, uh, so, some flavor inside that I can't necessarily put my uh, expertise on since I have no expertise, but I also like the texture. There was an extra crunch, uh, maybe a, a bead or a, a decoration that I tasted that had uh, added a little extra to the cupcake. Well done. You know, I, I really didn't see the dinosaur theme. Um, I definitely taste the lemon. Uh, it was very well done. Um, not really my taste, but um, very well done from a flavor from a flavor standpoint. Thank you. The cupcake looked really nice. I had a little dinosaur on mine. Had uh, pearl sprinkles as eyes, and I really liked that. The texture and the taste was really good as well. I could definitely taste the lemon. Team. Judge too. what's your favorite flavor of cupcake? I'm a big carrot guy. I love our spice cakes when you use fresh carrot with a buttercream cheese frosting. It's absolutely one of my favorites to have, especially around the holidays. Kitchen 3 from Tinley Park. What was your inspiration for this batch? So our inspiration actually started off with birthday but we had some um, things come up and we actually changed the theme um, inspired by the colors that we're still in birthday. We changed it actually to a unicorn theme. So our cupcake is a fun fetty cupcake with a strawberry jam filling and the top will be our French vanilla buttercream and on top we have um, accents of white chocolate. Judges, how do you feel about their cupcakes? Well, Team 3, I'm going to give you an A plus for design and uh, creativity uh, and flexibility. Sounds like you had to make a, an adjustment on the fly there in the kitchen and I'm sure that's a big part of baking. Uh, one uh, suggestion for improvement is the cupcake did stick to the uh, paper here a little bit so I was able to still dive in but uh, really good job uh, like I said um, in overall presentation. I can't stop eating this cake. So far, this is my favorite cake that I've ever had. It's a wow flavor. It definitely agree with Judge One. I had trouble pulling it apart from the wrapper, but the frosting, the cake itself, excellent on taste. Um, the cake looked really nice. The theme was very cute. My unicorn has a little top hat on it, so I've seen the birthday cake and the unicorn theme incorporated. <laughs> The um, frosting tasted really good, and the cake, it did stick to the wrapping, but it was good overall. Thank you, Kitchen 3, for your hard work and effort. We can't wait for the results. Judge 1, are you a whipped cream or buttercream kind of judge? I'll be honest, I wish I knew the difference between the two, so at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of both because uh, I'm just enjoying uh, this, uh, this experience and I appreciate the, uh, the invitation today. Kitchen 4 from Tinley Park. What's the reason behind the theme and decorations of your cupcakes? Um, for our cupcakes, we chose birthday cake, um, something that's easy that we can um, make, but also something that's like colorful and creativity. Um, and then we also did, we can do that for any celebration. So that's something that we chose. We did um, like a vanilla frosting and then we added the lollipops on top as balloons. And then we also added um, uh, sprinkles inside the cupcake and on top. Judges, give us your thoughts. Well, I tell you what here, Team 4. I like my steaks well done. And I got to admit, I'm a kind of a fan of a little bit of a cruncher at the top. Didn't know what to expect at uh, first taste. but. Really like uh, the texture there. Uh, taste overall, excellent. I think this one really stuck to the theme really well. Love the use of the lollipops on the cake. Um, again, the, the, the wrapper stuck to the cake, but when you bite in, I think uh, the crunch, uh, as you said, really just adds a lot, I think, to the overall flavor. Great job, team. I really like the decor of the cupcake, the added lollipops on top, and the cake overall, it tasted really well. And the frosting, uh, it tasted good as well. Great job, team. Very creative. Love the way your frosting looks. Judge 3, with two kitchens left, how do you feel about the cupcakes so far? I think the cupcakes are pretty good so far. Some are kind of 
iffy, but they taste good, all of them. And they look pretty nice as well. Kitchen 5 from Bremen. What's, your, what's the origin story of your batch? For our batch, we did churro cupcake, um, inspired by a Mexican tree. And Dia de los Muertos is mostly celebrated amongst Hispanics. So we decided to choose that because Thanksgiving is not about who you have in your table, but family and friends who have passed away. And we did a cream cheese cinnamon frosting with the filling of strawberries. Judges. Adios meals. This is really uh, excellent. I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting high marks here for flavor. You might have just hit a personal favorite here for me. Um, I'm going to uh, enjoy this sample, but uh, hide the rest of them back in the kitchen. Well done. I love the use of cinnamon. One of my favorite ingredients to use in a cupcake. On uh, The frosting that you have on top, so creamy, smooth, not overly sweet. This is awesome. I love the smell of the cupcake as soon as I got it. The decor is really cute and it stuck to the theme really well and the cupcake was just really good overall. Thank you, Kitchen 5, for your hard work and effort. We can't wait for the judge's decision. And there was Bun, Kitchen 6 from Bremen. Tell us your story. Well, the story behind my cupcake would be uh, Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving is somewhere where you could have a long time with your family and be very happy. I chose the strawberry shortcake cupcake for the reason that in our um, tradition, we like to make cakes. We make cakes and we, we make it as a tradition where we give it around all our family. And my family really enjoys it. So I hope you enjoy it. Our cupcake is um, it's a vanilla cupcake with a strawberry filling with um, a buttercream frosting on top. I hope you like it. Judges, this is our final cupcake of the show. Let's hear what you have to say. Well, way to end the competition strong, Team Six. Uh, what I am impressed with is a very clean approach, uh, very, very well decorated, taste excellent, no issues there, and I think you uh, finished the uh, program strong here with your, with, your, uh, with your selection. You know, it's light. I love the holiday theme. You know, I could see this going really well with Christmas and other holidays. The strawberries, when you get to that in the middle, is a nice a nice delight. Um, it's just very well baked and, and very well cooked. I think you timed it out right. The cupcake was pretty nice. I really like the pipe work on this cupcake and I got more so of a Christmas feel on it. I believe that the cupcake thing was Thanksgiving, but the cupcake was really nice. Thank you. All things must crumb to an end. It's time for our results. Judges, what is your decision? Who will come out on top? who will reign as the district's Bake Off Champions Cupcake Edition. We will see after this commercial break. All our lives, we've been surrounded by the traditional classroom. Desks, pencils, packets, tests, books. But what if there was another way to learn by doing? doing what you were always meant to do, together. Here, you can do what others can't. Here, you will use your skills to master the art of film. Here, you will rise in reading, writing, research, and speaking that will guide you to the path of righteousness.
Welcome back, back judges. judges. Have, have you, you made, made your decision? decision? Yes, we have. You know, we looked at all the different cakes and it was extremely hard to pick a winner. Yeah. We even give the decision if we could just take a minute to thank all the teams for their hard work, their preparation, their teamwork. We were uh, delighted with a great experience today. The teams really made it tough on us. The, I really like the cake that we picked so far and the winner really deserves this win. For goodness sakes, this dessert really takes the cake. Team five, Chiro is the winning cake. Congratulations to team five. Always remember life is what you bake of it. That's all we have time for today. We appreciate all the contestants and judges for coming out. If you like the show, check out more of our projections by subscribing to our YouTube channel, www.bdtv228.net. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by searching BDTV228 for more content. We will see you next time on District 228 Bake Off.